from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'm starting a new series about Premiere Pro. I know most of my tutorials are motion graphics or visual effects related, but one of the most important things is actually video editing. You can do a lot with video editing itself and if you're a visual effects artist or a motion graphics artist, you know how to edit. Also, some of my subscribers were asking me how to use Premiere Pro properly, so that's why I'm making this series. We were going to try and cover as much as I can about Premiere Pro and then it's going to be a playlist so you can just learn Premiere Pro on your own. So let's get started. I'm going to open up Premiere. We are going to see what Premiere actually is. We are going to take a look at all the windows, all the possibilities right now and how to assemble your footage and how to get started on a real project. Let's open Premiere and get started. Alright, so if we open up Premiere Pro, this is what we get except for the uh, past uh, projects here. But if we're going to create a new project, we can give it a location. So browse, go to the location, select that folder and give it a name. Apart from that, you can ignore all the other settings. These are pretty advanced, uh, so we can keep that as it is right now. Click OK, and Premiere Pro will open up. What you will see here is, uh, well, a bunch of panels. I'm not sure which one you will be seeing first, but right here you should be seeing assembly, editing, color, effects, audio, titles, and libraries. So this is actually the basic workflow of editing. So before you start editing, you do the assembly of all your footage that you will be using. Then you will be doing the editing and then you will be doing the color grading. After that, you will apply some effects and then some audio tuning. So um, yeah, it grows. It's like it's just a workflow procedure that you're following while editing your videos. You have your project getting started uh, project here. So go to assembly. And right here I will import my files for example. I will import these files right here and click open. And right here I have my footage. I will drag my footage into a folder and call this footage. So you can see right here on the icon that my footage has com contains film and audio. So it has both of these fragments. Of course this was filmed with my drone. So um, there is actually no audio that we need, um, but yeah, if you double click on it, you can play it in the source panel right here. But before we go and start editing all this together, I will explain you a little bit more about the panels. If you don't wish to see any panels, uh, what I always do is actually optimize all my scenes. Like the media browser, I barely use it as I just right click over here and import my footage. So I mostly close this down. You can also double click here to import footage and mostly I kind of use that because it's a little quicker than right clicking and importing files. You have multiple ways of importing files, you can also go to file, import, but yeah, I'm not going over all these things. I will just teach you my ways, which are a little bit easier uh, to understand if you're just starting out. Markers, I barely use it because I don't really work with other people, so I close this as well. Audio mixer as well and libraries as well. So that all these things, I don't really need them. So I need my project manager where I will all where I will be managing all my files. I need my source um, panel. I need my source panel and my program panel. Um, source is everything that's in here that I can scrub through, and the program monitor is everything in my timeline. But as you can see, I currently don't have a timeline. Then right here, you can see the audio gain. Um, a little basic about the audio. Um, the max you can go is up to zero decibels. Above that, it's going to get distorted. So always try to keep it around zero and minus three uh, for your max audio input. But yeah, this is no audio tutorial. I'm just uh, giving a little bit of tips here. So if you double click on footage, you can play it back here with the play and stop toggle. Of course, you can go frame by frame. You can also go uh, to the end and go to the beginning. But actually, this is going to the in and the out frame. Uh, to get a selection of your footage, you can scrub through your footage and actually select something that you like. For example, this part here. And we're going to press I on the keyboard and that's going to insert an in point. And if we scrub a little bit further, uh, I want it to last just until here. For example, I stop and I press O on the keyboard and this is to get my out point. So now I have a selection of my video footage. Right here we can see that I'm playing at full resolution. If it's a little bit um, too laggy, you can lower this down and then it's going to preview in bad quality, but you still get everything um, that you need to see. So uh, you can change this back to full. 
right here if we're going to drag this uh, it's only going to drag the audio and um, the video and if we're going to drag this it's only going to drag out the audio if we just grab this and drag it it's going to grab the film and the audio okay so now we have made a selection we are ready to create a new timeline for my selections I mostly uh, try to see at my footage and see the different kind of cameras that I've used or the different settings but right here it has the same frame rate and actually if we're going to drag it to the right you can actually see all the on other information about our video so you can see for example right here and um, that it this has been filmed in 4k and this one actually has different settings than this one uh, so what you could do is drag this into your timeline this will automatically create a timeline with the exact same settings as my video so right here if we go to uh, my video here and we're going to see uh, the resolution here it's going to be say the same as our sequence and also the frame uh, frame rate should be exactly the same that's because we are dragging um, our timeline and we're dragging our footage into our timeline uh, immediately so this is great when selecting footage uh, now if we're going to select a portion of this footage we should actually create a new uh, timeline because the settings were different so each time that you use different settings or a different camera create a new timeline for that so we're going to drag that into another timeline. You can also rename your uh, sequences. So I dragged them out of my folder of my fo um, footage here and I will give them a name. So this will be my selection drone 4K cinematic, for example. And this is going to be the selection of the drone uh, 4K regular. And then we can also do selection for the GH4 Panasonic, another camera that I like to use. And that way I stack up all my selections of each different camera. Also, because they have different color profiles and later on, I just find this a little bit easier uh, to get my selections uh, done this way. So we can stack this up, go to the footage, and go to the selection drone 4K, go back into another footage and then just drag until you like something, press I on the keyboard, O on the keyboard when ending. Now we're going to drag this in here uh, to add it up to our selection drone 4K. We can also select only the audio if we don't need actually the audio for our drone. Uh, we don't have any audio so we can drag it in like so. So that's basically how to assemble all your footage. What I also like to do is grab my sequences right here that I actually use for selection and drag this into a new folder and then I will rename this selection sequences. Because this can really stack up um, yeah, depending on the number of cameras that you're using. Right here you can also switch uh, between the icon and the list view. I prefer to work with the list view and yeah, make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever floats your boat. And you can also search footage right here, so that's really nice. So you stack up all your selections once you're satisfied with everything that you have. And actually I'm going to delete this one because this is a little bit too long. Um, but yeah, you can uh, zoom in here holding alt and scrolling down or up and that way you're going to zoom into your timeline so if you want to uh, see this more in detail you can zoom in like this or just grab it right here do the same thing for our video or audio if you want to see something more in detail on a particular layer you're going to drag it up or down so if we zoom in for example and drag this up you're going to see the detail in the thumbnail of our video you can also see that our timeline consists of multiple layers uh, yeah, the only reason why is if you want to do video in video or you want to do overlays on top of your video titles, uh, you can stack them up in layers. So kind of the same workflow as Photoshop. I'm not going to explain that. Uh, same goes for audio. If you want to stack up multiple audio tracks, you can do that as well. So you can drag it up like here. Everything is customizable, so that's also great. Here you have a bunch of tools that we will look into later on. Um, but yeah, basically, this is how to assemble footage. If you're going to zoom, uh, scroll here, you can also do it like that, scrolling. All right, so that's all you should know to assemble your footage. Once you have a bunch of selections, you can then close everything down and go to the editing part right here. But that's for another tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out the other Premiere tutorials, which will be linked at the end of this video.